Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, and today I'm going to make an envelope flip, but I'm going to use the Tim Holtz wallpaper as the background uh, for it instead of like a tag base or that sort of thing. I mean, technically these will become sort of like a tag base. Um, so I'm using, these are uh, small envelopes. I think they're six and a half by about three and a quarter. Uh, and then I have, these were from the dollar store. And then I have, these are Rachel's papers. It's her plain, I think it's called her plain papers or plain, it's not backgrounds. These, these are from her tall, uh, she has a couple of kits that are for the taller journals. And um, I just wanted to use these plainer bits, cut them off, cut them to the height of the envelope, which is about six and a half. And then this is the extra bit that got cut off all of the sheets. And then this is going to make great backgrounds for um, tags and whatnot. Or I may use them for something else, but they will get used. So I have a number of these, um, and you can see where this got. Whoop, this was, I think, off the top. There you go, right off there. That's where that one came off. Okay, so I am going to uh, choose the um, Tim Holtz paper. I actually think these two would look great with this one, and I think this blue one would look fantastic with that blue background. So we'll start there. We'll do two, and if we have time, we'll do a little bit more as well. So I know these are five inches wide. I don't want them that wide uh, because uh, not all of the journals I make are that wide. I do know that this is like three and a quarter. So I do want to see a little bit on the side. So I'm going to cut these two four inches wide. Save these. These are great for putting on the side of a piece of... Um, piece of paper in a journal if you want to uh, firm up a page and just looking at so I'm going to take I'm just eyeballing it I'm going to just take this amount off it's not quite an inch about three quarters of an inch save those as well so we'll just set this aside for now I think the other thing I might want to do is I might want to just corner around I've got two of them in here together. This is a quarter of an inch, quarter round, like so. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to take my envelope, and you don't need it. You don't need all of this amount back here. So I'm going to cut that, and I'll cut on this one as well. Maybe we'll do one on one, coming from one side and the other from the other side. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to glue it here so that we see it like that. So I take my art glitter glue and I have lots of videos where I'm making this sort of a flip. So um, you have lots to choose from to have a look at. Now I'm not going all the way to the crease. I'm going about an eighth of an inch from the crease. And then I'm just gonna put that in, get that so it's not all the way to the bottom and that's fine. I don't mind that. That looks good. And let's do this one, we'll do it on the other side. So we'll just put our glue in. Just like I always say, there's no wrong way to do these. I think the wrong way may be if you're not enjoying yourself. But if you're enjoying yourself, then it's the right way to do it. So I'm going to put it on this side, leaving a little bit of space at the crease. There we go. So there they are. So the way that we decorate or we add the paper, what I do, I'm going to use this one here because the colors look so beautiful together and we'll use this one with the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to cover the envelope on the inside. And I'm not touching the opening part at this stage. We will come back to that in a minute. 
So I'm just covering it with glue. And then I take my glue and I just make a bead up here. And what that does is it close, it's going to close it for us. So then I'm going to take this, set it at the bottom, and make sure I've got a little bit of space here at the crease for it to close. So you can see there's a tiny bit of space. You can see with the white, get that glue out of the way. And so that's on there. And then I take this and I level it with the top and just fold it like that. So it's folded on the envelope and then we can just take this and fold it over. I like to fold first so that um, it's easier than when the glue is all over it. So I'm just going to take my glue. You could use glue stick for this. You just have to position paper underneath it nicely. So I'm just going to get that on there. I say position glue nicely and look what I've done. I've put glue on the table. It's all good. <laughs> it is all good. And then I'm just going to take this and put some glue here, like so. Excellent. So now we've got our envelope covered. This would go on a page as like a tuck spot. I'll show you that in a minute on a journal, but for now, let's just, let's just, um, cover the second one. So once again, I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to cover the envelope but not the opening. This part here, we're not going to cover it. And I'm going to get my glue all over like that. And then we're just going to run a bead of glue down here. That's where we create our new pocket. Oh, okay. Great. I had it sideways, but that's all right. And I'm just going to set this here, leaving a bit of space in between, right here. Oops. Okay. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take it and fold it like so. There's that blue paper. So pretty. And then I'm just going to Turn it over like this. Now, if you don't have Tim Holtz wallpaper, I'm just trying to use up my stash. I have a bunch of it, and I've had it for a couple of years. Oh, don't do it there first. Do it here. So I've had it for a couple of years. Well, some of it I've had for several years since it came out. Um, and I just haven't been using it very much. And I'm like, well, you know what? Let's get using it. It's there to use. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to reapply this glue just in case it's dried a little bit. And we're going to go over it like that. How are we for time? We're good. Okay. I love that. It just is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, so the next bit is that you can choose where you want your opening. I generally put it at the top. You could easily have your opening on the side if you want it uh, for a card to go in or at the top. Maybe we'll do this one at the side. Let me get my cutter just so that I know I'm going to be straight. So I'm going to put that in there like so and just open it up just like that. So that opens up our envelope like that. And I think this one has a bit of a, I'm going to use this for this. This one has a bit of a, um, showing a bit of white at the top. So I'm going to cut that off and have it at the top. So take it just to the crease. And I just go up on a very slight little angle there. I don't know if you can see that, just a slight little angle. And then that gives us our opening at the top. So just one second, Let's see if I can get my, I'm gonna to have to use my scissors to see if I can move it over here. 
Here we go. So I'm going to get my um, punch, and this is a tab punch, but it's great for also making a little divot at the top. And then we'll do a little divot here on the side. On that one. And it really just depends on where you opened it. Let me see, do I still have, I might have some, I do have some of the Tracy Fox uh, wallpaper um, cards that I've put on cardstock. This is a digital of hers. And you could put this in here, like that. And we don't want to go with all blue, do we? We pick out one that would go beautifully, but I'm going to pick out the yellow one for the top of this to go in here. Let's see, will it, it will. So that would go up there. So we have our tags. We have our flip, um, and we might as well just take some time and decorate them. I think that would be a fun thing to do. So, how they would work on a page, let me grab my journal. So, I would set it on a page like so, and I would glue it possibly on these three sides and then have something tuck in from the back, or three and from the top, or just on two sides and have it as a general tuck. So there would be that one. This one I would put on this side because of the way it opens, um, like that. And I would do the same. I would probably just do two sides and have it as a tuck. Uh, but you could do three sides and then have something come in from the side or from the top. So that's how they are meant to work. Um, and then the question is, do I want to put I could put a tuck spot in behind, too, on here. Now, I have some butterfly um, pages. These are uh, little bits that I put on, um, also on some cardstock. And these are images from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So, you could have it on this side, but then when it's open you would see that. We want it there, or do we want it here, so that, no, I think I will put it on the corner, but I am going to, are these the same sides? No. I am going to do a corner punch for uh, the bottom, for these three, for this one, because it matches up with that corner punch there. I'm going to leave that one straight. And here, it's on this side, gosh. Oh no, it's on that side. So nice how they all um, they coordinate so nicely. That was, trust me, that was luck. I hadn't planned it. So if I set this here, and I kept it straight there, uh, we could have it on that side. Oh, Wendy, goof, you goof. <laughs> Put it on the back and set it right there. Okay. There you go. Sometimes you just don't see things the way you think you're going to. Um, and that's okay. So we're going to set this in here like that. Really pretty. Goodness. That's come together really nicely. And then this one's going to come over here. I'm always a little bit surprised when things work out. I mean, having said that, I am a confident crafter. Um, I've talked about that before, just being confident and going ahead and doing it. Because uh, if, if something doesn't work out the way you want, it's okay. We're crafting. You know, this is not, this is not stuff that's, you know... Um, it's going to cause someone stress or whatever. So I'm going to put this tab here on that tag so that we can see where it's meant to go. And it's just around the middle. 
And this is Tim Holtz paper. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, that's really pretty with this, isn't it? So we can set that in there, like so. And then we have this one up here. Does it have a different, it has the Cameo. Nice. Nice. So I'm just going to use this. It's also Tim Holtz. Little scraps that I cut in using my um, punch to make tabs. So I hope you're enjoying all of this, the ephemera bits that I'm making. It's great. I'm building up my stash so that when I get back to making journals a little bit more uh, aggressively in the fall, then I'm good to go. So I'm just going to clip these. I'm not going to round them, but I am going to round the bottom. Makes it a little easier when you do that if you're putting something into a pocket. It just makes it a little bit easier to go in. I love yellow with blue. That's kind of my favorite color combination. And here we will, I'm going to round all the sides, all the corners. And of course this can be decorated as well. But I think it will be fun. Let's let's concentrate on decorating the um, the front. I love those. It really looks cute. Okay, I've got flowers and I've got more birds than I have flowers. If I'm honest, I love this guy on there. And I have to say, this might be one of my favorite of the bird of the bird um, images. This one, I love that. Now, I think we could have um, some flowers, possibly a flower on each of these as well. Something like that. I don't know if it's showing up enough. Don't think it is. And will this be on here? Will that show? It's still quite light, isn't it? Let's see what other flowers do I have. I have this one. I actually think I like this better over here. That one there. Yep. And I don't know, purple and the blue. It's quite a subtle purple, so I think it might work. The other option is I have a deeper yellow piece. I think I like the purple better, so I'm going to stick with that. Stick with the purple. All right, so I'm going to put this down. I'm not putting any um, papers behind, like any um, ledger paper or old book paper because the imagery in behind is so beautiful and it's so subtle uh, that I don't think it really needs it. So it's really whatever speaks to you. I'm going to set this down like that. That's super pretty. And then we're going to put this cutie behind on here as well. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are well. We're doing well. It's been, it's been uh, so far not as warm as summer, or spring I should say, spring, summer, but I'm sure it'll get there. I'll put this so that he looks like he's just coming from the side on that, on that um, twig. I might have to just very carefully trim that a little tiny bit. So I think that looks really lovely, like that. And then you could put a book page or whatever in the back there. I'm sure, I'm definite that I want this over on this side. And you could put labels, whatever it is that you're feeling on here. I don't want them to look too busy. Um, my, my aesthetic is generally not a very busy look. Uh, 
for journals and such, but I put him like that. Maybe just come over a little tiny bit. Yeah, I think that'll work. Get him on there. So yeah, I'm I'm having fun making the ephemera. I think it's going to make it easier uh, in the fall for me to put a bunch of journals together. I rarely have a stash of ephemera because I tend to just make what I need in the moment. So I'm going to have him on more of an angle. Fold that over. His little tail. Perfect. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, the other thing I have, I have some Tracy labels. I think I might put this one down here. It says vegetation. Just add it, just to add a little, a little more interest. You can't go wrong with a label, that's what I think. I know it's not everybody's taste, but I quite like it like that. Um, and this one, do we want? Okay, yeah, we have a, I think I'll put this up here, it says grass. Sometimes I think it's good with journals if, you know, if you're making them as a gift or you're selling or whatever, if you don't decorate every tag because that gives people the opportunity to do what they want. So this tag would be beautiful for two photos, like a photo here and a photo on the back, and put them in the envelope. Wouldn't that be nice? I think that would be great. And then on the inside, sec, I'm just going to grab my needle, or I thought I would. Where did I put it? Oh, here. It's around here somewhere. Um, on the inside, you could put, I have some like vintage book page. And you could, you know, just have, I'm not sure if this will fit. Too wide? Too wide. So you could have like a, a book page or two for a tuck spot. Because that's always nice so that people have the opportunity to decorate a little bit. So you could do this sort of thing. Let me just see what else do I have. There's this one. See how aged that page is. Isn't that something? I love it. And we just set this in here as well. It's a little bit tall, but that's okay. You can fold it a little bit more if you want it. But it just gives a little interest that you can see over the top as well. And I guess that tail didn't want to stick down. So I'm just going to cut this here, like so, and that's it. Those are our tucks. So let me just show you my our flip, flip and tuck. So this one would go over here and open like that, and then this one would go on this side, not necessarily on the same open page, uh, but that's the way I would, I would put it. And you could put, as well, a tab. This one doesn't need one, but and it's got the tab at the top, but you could put a tab here too if you want it. So that's it, a pretty quick and easy uh, flip using um, some Tim Holtz wallpaper. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're enjoying some good weather and staying safe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.